so we are going to deal with the topic mechanism of enzyme actions and before getting into the details of this topic let's understand few basic terminologies so what is enzyme enzyme is any biomolecule which enhances or increases the rate of a biochemical reaction without being consumed in that reaction now we know that the enzymes are mostly made up of proteins with few exceptions in which the nucleic acid acts as enzyme and we know it as ribozyme so now we have to deal with the protein and we know that any protein when it has to become functional it requires a different level of structures or structural arrangement that is primary secondary tertiary and if more than one polypeptide chains are present in quaternary structure in in the same manner the enzyme also has primary secondary and tertiary level of structures when the primary structure or the sequence of amino acid is coiled or is folded it forms secondary structure we know as alpha and beta pleat sheet then when these secondary structures are again refolded and superfolding takes place it is responsible for the formation of three dimensional arrangement or 3d structure during the formation of this 3d structure what happens there occurs development of certain crevices or pockets in the uh, structure of the enzyme one of these pockets or crevices behaves as active site and it is that site that crevice or pocket in the enzyme structure which is responsible for the binding with the substrate so active site is that site in the 3d structure or 3d arrangement of a protein molecule which binds to the substrate and brings about the desired effect or desired change or the desired biochemical reaction so now we have understood the concept of active site let's move to the actual mechanism of reaction i'll explain it in a very simple manner what happens that there is an enzyme it binds with the substrate then there is formation of an enzyme substrate complex this enzyme substrate complex transforms into enzyme product complex and then finally what happens that enzyme and products get dissociated so the product is released from this complex and this enzyme is again able to bind to the new substrate so the enzyme it did not get used up in the reaction this is very simple elucidation of the mechanism of enzyme action but let's go into a bit details so what happens here that substrate has to be converted into product for that there is a requirement of certain changes in the substrate molecule and for that changes there is requirement of an input of energy so in context of energy if we draw a graph like this suppose y axis represents the potential energy and the x axis represents the progress of the reaction so what happens here that initially the substrate is having certain amount of potential energy there is a requirement of certain amount of energy which is required for the conversion of the substrate level energy or the substrate into a more unstable energy state which is called as transition state and from this transition state the substrate will be converted into a product so this is the level of energy in the product so from this energy reaction graph we can simply infer that the substrate is having more energy as compared to products therefore the reaction is exothermic that means the reaction is occurring with the release of extra energy and the product is becoming stable now let's understand this in very simple manner that how this transition state is achieved by the substrate for achieving this transition state 
the substrate has to cross an energy barrier which can be represented by this line and this energy barrier is called as Ea or activation energy. So this is basically activation energy that means it is the amount of energy required by the substrate molecule to reach to the transition state and bring about the desired effect. It is activation energy. But in an enzyme catalyzed reaction what happens that the amount of activation energy required is reduced. So this Ea is for non-enzyme catalyzed reaction while this Ea say it can be called as Ea dash this is for enzyme catalyzed reaction. Now suppose in order to understand this phenomena suppose you are substrate and you have certain amount of money but you want to see a movie you want to watch a movie but you do not have sufficient amount of money in order to buy a ticket and that much amount required to buy a ticket is equivalent to activation energy. Then comes your friend that is the enzyme into the plane into the picture and he says that he knows the owner of the multiplex very well whatever amount you have that is sufficient for you to get a ticket and watch the movie. So here your goal is or your the desired effect is the piece the change of mind which you are required to have so that means it is the product for you to consider. So your friend comes that is an enzyme and when you go along with your friend you get the ticket in the same amount which you have you do not have to have the extra amount or the extra money required to buy the ticket. In this manner the enzyme mediates or the enzyme facilitates the reaction or it lowers the requirement of activation energy by bringing about the effective collisions between the substrate molecules in order to change them into the product. Why is this activation energy required? This is required for only two purposes. First of all to increase the number or frequency of collision between the substrate molecules and the collisions have to be properly oriented that means to increase the frequency of collision and make the proper orientation of the collision to bring about the final product. So this is the fundamental mechanism by which an enzyme acts in a biochemical reaction by bringing about the requirement of the activation energy. So this is the requirement for non-enzyme catalyzed and this the requirement has been reduced when we use enzyme as a catalyst in any biochemical reaction. I hope you would have understood. Thanks for watching.